Oh shit, broke off. Son of a bitch, what the hell? Okay, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Is this your first time? Uh, today we're going to be working on the 2001 Heritage Springer. Uh, I didn't finish the motor. I didn't put the carburetor or anything like that. I decided I'm going to do the front end first. So let me show you what I got done so far. Uh, I did take off the headlight assembly and the fog lamps or turning signals, whatever you want to call them. So I'm starting to do some work. See if I can get some of this rust off with this triple zero or quadruple zero uh, steel wall. Some of it's coming off, but you know, some of it has already started to eat away at the base metal under here. You can kind of feel it, but I'll try to see if I can get as much off as I can. And you see some of these bolts are, you know, kind of rusty. I want to probably replace, these are for the windshield, but probably kind of replace some of those. But anyway, we're jacking this up so I can get the tire and the fender off cal and the caliper. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the line. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to disconnect really any of this. I'm just going to take the head of bars and lay them back on here. I've already disconnected and, you know, routed some of these wires out of the way. The brake line doesn't have any brake fluid in it because I never filled the reservoir up for when I replaced uh, the handlebar control. So we can just disconnect that uh, down at the caliper. And I, I don't think I had this up high enough actually to get the wheel off. I might have to take... This front stop off make it a little bit easier but i don't want to that's why i got it down on the ground if this thing's going to fall over i don't want it to be five feet up in the air when it does so but we got it you know secured pretty good i mean i don't think it's going anywhere but so we got to get going and take this tire off uh, i do have the bearings so i got some bearings from uh drag specialties and the races right now what i'm doing is i'm waiting on the tool uh, to come in to compress these springs so we can take the springs out and then there's another tool i'm waiting on to actually pop the races out i don't like beating races out with drifts or screwdrivers there's a, a specific tool that motion pro makes to take those races out and uh, it also puts the races in so i'm waiting on that tool i didn't order the tool uh, to take the stem bearing out in the bottom because I want to make sure that I actually have the right bearings. Drag Specialty says this will fit this year Heritage. So we'll have to, you know, wait on that. But I think the tool to get the races out should be here in a couple days. Um, in the meantime, we'll get going on taking this tire off. Okay, so one of the things I got to do uh, is I've got to put this bungee cord... Um, underneath the fender here because once I disconnect take the caliper off and take this out this fin and take this off this fender is just going to flop over like that so I don't want that to smash against the uh, thing so we'll get the tools and we'll get this caliper off first with a brake line All right, we got that off. There was, I'm gonna take that little one off there. Okay, so we got the, the brake line sort of free. Well, if we have to take it off from this side or not, probably not. I can probably thread it through here. Or can I? Maybe not. All right, 
Let's just take it off on the other side. It'll be a lot easier. Gotta get this bracket off. This bracket can't come off. This bracket here, you can see it can't come off until I take the bars off. And then we can move some of that out of the way. So I might just replace these bolts with some chrome ones. Okay, so let me show you in the top. You can see how rusted that is. We're going to replace those. But I'm going to spray some PB Blaster down in here to free that. So the spring was on this side. My camera cut out before I had a chance to show you, but here's the spring. And what this does, this acts as a ground for the, I believe it's for the turn signals. Pretty sure it's for, the, yeah, because there's only a single wire going into the turn signals. So um, it kind of acts as a ground. So I'm going to have to strap these down a little bit. But anyway, let the PB soaker sit in there and then we can take these out. And uh, I don't think I still can't get this out until this top of the triple tree is off. Let me see if I can lift this out. No, nope. these risers have to come out first. So, so I already loosened these. Now that you can see how rusted those are, those are going to be replaced. There's no doubt about that. I actually might replace that brake line with a, uh, so that these come off. And there's a washer in there. So we're going to replace, you know, this hardware. The risers are fine. They were a little, got some rust inside, but nothing that we can't fix. But the hardware uh, has got to be replaced. All right, so what are we going to do next? We got to take, these look like they're okay. But again, can we get this off now finally? No, we can't. All right. All right, so we got to, uh, we actually got to take this out. Since I'm not going to be disconnecting the rockers down there, I don't need to tie them up. Uh, so I just want to actually get the front end off of here. So we got to take these out. Then we can take the triple tree out. So where's my persuader at? Okay, so we got these out. These, you know, of course we're in here. Those are the rigid fork studs. Whoops. Uh, but I'm gonna replace these anyway. These are kind of rusty and yeah, I get a feeling that the, it was a good call to do the stem bearings on here because if, if the stem, if this other stuff is an indication of, now will this come out? What the hell is going on with this? Still won't come out until I take that off. Oh, maybe it does. There it goes. Okay. So you see we got some light rust on here. We'll try to get off. It's kind of hidden, so if I don't get all the rust off, it's not really a problem. Um, so we got to undo this bolt right there. What do I do with my Allen? Uh, the stem so it's got a three-pronged I'm gonna get the camera up here. So this is the part. It's from v-twin Fork stem bearing and wrench tool. You can oh, where is it? There we go So there's the number if you're looking for it and if you look up here You can see this thing fits in those three spots right here Problem is with this thing broken now, I don't know how I'm going to get this out. There's no way with one of these I'm going to get that out. 
Oh, there it comes. All right. Wow. That's amazing. I'm even, I was even able to do that. Okay, I can't believe how lucky I am. <clears throat> this thing actually is coming out with one key in there. Uh, let me get the wrench. Oops. So I'm going to have to get a new fork nut. I can't even believe that that's actually working. I don't care if I destroy this nut because I got to get a new one anyway. So we're gonna have to get a new one of these a new nut anyway on this so let's get this over to the other bench so here's the bearing i mean it doesn't look bad it does feel like it's a little a little tight in there clean this race up we'll get a look at it okay so i got the bearings out you can see there's some rust right in here uh, there's some scoring right on this race too so glad we you know pulled these out they this, this rate this bearing does seem a little stiff whatever so all right so that's going to do it for this video uh, i'm going to have to just wait for the tools to come in um, and i might have a change of plan on this sports there i'm going to think about it the next few days and i'll do an update as to what i'm going to do uh on it and everything like that. So don't forget to subscribe, leave me some thumbs up, leave me some comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.